This organization, started by Sarvodaya's founder, Dr. A.T. Aryaratna in 1956, as a non-governmental development organization, was established as Lanka Jatika Sarvodaya Shramadana Sangamaya by an act of parliament, number 16 of 1972. The Sarvodaya development philosophy is a moral, spiritual, cultural, social, economic and political program aimed at the upliftment of both individuals and the population considered as a single family without discrimination based on principles of truth and non-violence. The next concept of Dr. A.T. Ariratna was Sarvodaya Economic Enterprise Development Services Limited. Its mission is to mobilize economic power in order to totally eradicate poverty and towards achieving sustainable livelihoods. To continue this activity effectively and efficiently, the Sarvodaya Economic Enterprise Development Services or SEEDS was formulated in 1986. A board consisting of persons with special capabilities and skills is directing SEED toward its objectives with the goodwill of many being promoted rapidly. Seed services are financial services, enterprise development services, and training services. SEEDS has embarked on a laudable venture of directing its membership towards economic self-sustainability by providing financial assistance, enterprise development and training services. It provides the modern technology and knowledge required for village level technical and agricultural self-employment opportunities together with financial assistance to achieve the objectives of the society through economic, social and cultural development of the village. SEEDS acts as a facilitator on behalf of its members by identifying capabilities and business opportunities relevant to its membership and by conducting programs to educate the rural community to achieve economic development. It provides all the necessary facilities required to achieve these objectives. SEEDS has identified the causes of failure in the rural sector as the deficits arising from a lack of communication available to obtain market information, lack of institutions providing the services required for rural projects, lack of opportunities for project development, lack of easy access to modern technology, inadequate knowledge in marketing the products, projects which were started have been difficult to expand into commercially viable projects, lack of financial resources and institutions willing to bear the risk. Having identified these weaknesses, SEEDS provides a number of specialized services through SEEDS Credit Plus, in addition to its normal financial services. The Enterprises Services Development Arm carries out promotions to enable local entrepreneurs to meet the challenges of a business environment. Through project appraisal and advisory services, it assists the members to reap maximum benefits from the financial services provided. The plans are formulated after assessing the suitability of the project by technological research carried out in the field. In 2004, it has conducted over 2,000 training sessions to train over 40,000 customers for new and ongoing enterprises to ensure continuous growth.
During our work, one thing we noticed was the lack of rural leadership skills and managerial skills. Therefore, we organized special training courses with modules such as subcommittees, executive training, management training, training in marketing management, training in financial management and so on. What we expect here is to develop their leadership skills to achieve better effectiveness and efficiency. We have developed more modules. Small Enterprises module, SIYB, CEFI are some of these. We hope that through this training, their entrepreneurial skills will improve, resulting in the growth of their businesses and the generation of employment and in the improvement in their standards of living. In particular, programs such as the Diploma in Microfinancial Management and CGAP Financial Analysis courses have been introduced for institutional development. In addition, island-wide computer training courses have also commenced. We conduct courses for the officers and beneficiaries of external institutions. The habit of saving among its members is also developed on a priority basis. By 2004, the number of savings accounts exceeded 1 million rupees, with the total deposits exceeding 2 billion rupees. The Enterprises Development Services continuously keeps in focus the need to provide diverse financial facilities to meet the needs of the membership. In order to provide a growth-oriented occupation for the customers, special financial services are provided to stimulate income growth. Seed services that have now spread island-wide have attracted thousands of both men and women to this economic program without discrimination. Already, over 93,000 smaller groups have been established with a total membership exceeding 90,000. After establishing subcommittees numbering over a thousand as savings and credit control units, they have now been developed as Sarvodaya Development Financial Institutes. A special feature of SEEDS is the ability to direct its rural membership toward entrepreneurship and successful continuation of their enterprise with an organized structure. We started with a loan from Seeds. We have six persons working here now. Our products are now sold in shops in areas like Badul and Mandarabal. Business is good. We are going to develop it further. Seeds deviates from the traditional lending institutions by giving a tailor-made service to its members. It regularly makes use of modern technology to develop business and to find new markets. Similarly, it strives to impart knowledge and skills and to create a favorable atmosphere. Special attention is focused on youth who have just left school. I did not have capital to start this. Seeds agreed to grant me a loan. I was provided with instructions in investment. Again, I obtained a second loan. At the same time, I was provided training on management of human resources. Business is good. Thanks to Seeds and its guidance, I am managing my business well. 
සිත් සමාගමින් ඒ ලද ඒකෙන් ලැබුණු ඒ උපදේශ සහ දැනුමත් එක්ක කරන උන මට මම සාර්ථක ගමනක් කරලා දෙනවා මම ඉදිරියටත් මේක සාර්ථක කරගෙන යන්න බලාපොරොත්තු වෙනවා එම විශේෂ සම්බන්ධව එම ආශ්‍රය සම්බන්ධව ඊට සාහිත්‍යයට තිබෙන විශේෂ ගැටලු නිරාකරණය කර ගැනීමට අවස්ථාවක් ලබා දීම ඒ වගේම සීස් ඉස් නොට් සැටිස්ෆයිඩ් ජස්ට් ප්‍රොවයිඩින් ෆිනැන්ෂල් සර්විසස් ඇලෝන් it constantly monitors the performance of its members in addition to the financial services business clinics are conducted where weaknesses in the business are identified and seeds involve itself in administering the necessary remedies Seeds makes a special effort to make women shareholders in development. By 2004, the active female membership approached 300,000. The share of financial services granted to women is 60%. Incentives are provided to increase participation of women towards earning an income in keeping with the size of the family. Overall, the financial services section renders a unique service in this regard. I obtained a loan from Seeds and ventured into making clothes. I sell my products to these wholesale shops and hope to develop business further. To develop my business, Seeds has provided me with credit facilities. In the future too, I am counting on Seeds to provide me with credit facilities to develop my business. It is seeds of Mathura that has assisted me up till now. There have been a number of occasions where I have got credit facilities and I have developed my business with those credit facilities. I have also received guidance in how to develop my business and a course under the Sefi program and also a course in packaging are some of the courses which I follow with the assistance of seeds. I have also received market opportunities abroad. Bangalore is one of those places to which I export. A lot of support to develop this business has come from seeds. I expect the assistance will continue in the future too. According to the Sarvodaya philosophy, it extends its services to children, the young and adults. Seeds renders a special service to Sri Lankan children by holding singiti pollers, where the children develop their potential while earning an income. The society encourages saving a part of their income 
and two savings accounts called Pancha and Sigithi have been introduced for this purpose. The island-wide extension of the services is accomplished through the SEED's district offices. These district offices offer all financial assistance, enterprise development services and training. I started this business on a very small scale. After joining SEEDS, we received training and financial assistance. Training courses such as the German CEFI has brought us to this level of quality. This institution carries out the work required to eradicate poverty in the rural society and to increase employment opportunities. In this regard, although the banking sector has provided various capital requirements, it was observed that most of the businesses have failed during the past few years. The reasons have been a lack of communication with the villagers, a lack of modern technology, and a lack of business skills at the village, and so on. For a business to be successful, there are two factors, both financial and non-financial factors. In this context, the business development services are required for the development of the existing business, identifying new business opportunities, market promotion, improving competitiveness, business diversification, increase of employment and improving business productivity. Accordingly, facilities are provided to develop businesses, starting on a small scale. We have established enterprise promotion offices at the district level so that the rural community could obtain our services from these district offices. The primary services are communication, knowledge required to generate business, information necessary to direct the public, brochures, different information programs for businessmen, which are presently carried out by our communication section. The second is marketing and business development. The absence of a market is a major obstacle. Therefore, we provide the necessary data, introducing business relations, signing trade agreements for harvests, and organizing seminars. Such things are also carried out. The third is technological development services. Since technical know-how is important, we provide the businessmen with that knowledge. Food, industry, technical field section provides these services. The fourth is the service aimed at value addition in products, especially with packaging, labeling, designing, maintaining standards. These are examples where we educate businessmen. The fifth is production technological services. We identify resources, conduct utility research, and new training sessions, which are considered pilot projects. Bees honey, bananas, tissue culture are those implemented at the village level. The most important is the development of managerial skills. Therefore, we have taken a number of initiatives. Equally important is the business advisory services. Some of our other services are providing guidelines to business analysis teams, reviewing businesses, assisting in rehabilitation of unprofitable ventures, providing project reports for applying for credit facilities, financial services, and also liaison services. 
We grant loans ourselves, subject to a limit of 500,000 rupees, beyond which we introduce the entrepreneur to an external bank. Among the other services are the survey of resources in the village and developing businesses. Our specialty is the ability to provide credit and all other facilities under one roof. I start a production of yogurt as a self-employment project, started on a small scale. Seeds educated me to manage and market my product and also provided financial assistance. It also regularly supervised the business. Therefore, I was able to continue my business profitably. The vision of seeds is the eradication of poverty. Towards this endeavor, the first goal is to increase the income levels of its membership and improve the management and financial standing to enable them to maintain it uninterrupted. And the second is the improvement of income levels of the members of the Sarvode Shramadana societies, improvement of the rural economy, management and the financial standing. Thirdly is the need to provide the village community with appropriate technology and necessary financial assistance and to introduce viable projects. To achieve these objectives, a number of banking services are offered for commencing new projects, sustaining them and providing credit facilities for projects at a reasonable interest. The other is assisting with credit to meet the day-to-day -day needs of the families. Similarly, we have another objective of developing small enterprises to increase employment generation. We also disperse loans to non-members for selected projects and for alternative power generation projects. In addition, a part of the interest earned by members are given to develop village Sarvode Shramadana societies. A special feature of SEEDS is that the institute goes to the members, identify their needs and provide the necessary financial assistance and also assist in conducting the businesses properly and effectively. By doing so, a certain discipline is imparted to the rural society. Thus, SEEDS assists in the upliftment of the standard of living of its membership. The main factor for the failure of a business is the weakness of its management. The Enterprise Services section constantly encourages the entrepreneurs to free their business from this condition and to continue as a profitable venture. Initially we carried on as a self-employment project. The support given by Sarvo, they were significant. They help us as well as provide credit to develop the business. Most important was the German enterprise trade. I was selected as the best entrepreneur of the Badulla district. This gave me a lot of confidence. In the case of many products, it has been observed that 
the inability of the producers to sell their products at a reasonable price. Especially is this the case of agricultural products. Seeds acts as an intermediary to bring the farmer and the buyer together to ensure a reasonable price by entering into an agreement prior to the harvest. It is normally difficult to market rural products as there is no way of penetrating the outside markets. Seeds regularly assists its members to overcome this difficulty. Seeds directly introduces customers as well as exhibits their products at Seeds display points and sell them. Seeds also hold exhibitions in main towns and these have assisted the entrepreneurs in finding buyers for their products. Another service is advisory services for government and non-governmental organizations. Taking into consideration the development in training and advisory sectors, SEED's training section provides instruction in business management and entrepreneurial training. To this effect, SEED's has conducted over 400 training sessions among over 8,500 members in 2004. SEEDS not only provides training for its members, but also for its staff, who play a vital role in the progress of its members. Their knowledge of the changes in socio-economic conditions and in technology are regularly updated. In addition to these training sessions conducted from time to time, the private and electronic media is also used to impart knowledge. We are working from Chapla to Go. The project started one month ago and uh, it's a three-year project. GTZ is a German corporation. It means that this project is a cooperation between the German government and the German, the, the Sri Lankan government. Okay, uh, we started this project with the nucleus approach, which is what you are going to learn. Especially are members educated through the printed publications of SEEDS dealing with information on entrepreneurship management and marketing. At present, Sri Lanka faces an acute energy crisis. SEEDS takes a leadership role in this regard in encouraging the community to use alternative sources of energy as a solution by introducing solar energy to the villages, which is carried out by SEEDS. By this time, over 48,000 of the rural population have received financial assistance and the credit extended is nearly 2 billion. Further, over 50,000 beneficiaries selected from 10 districts have received credit facilities to meet the basic costs connected with obtaining electricity from the national grid for household use. Nine villages have been given financial assistance to develop mini hydroelectricity plants and the number of beneficiaries amount to around 340. Seeds has also been active in areas affected by the tsunami. In addition to the relief goods distributed among the victims, it has coordinated with Holsim Lanka Limited to construct houses for those who have become homeless the north, the east and the south. The goal is to provide 200 houses 
and many of them have already been handed over to the affected families. EM technology was discovered by Professor Higa of Japan. And this technology can be applied for both agriculture and animal husbandry and to overcome certain difficulties involved in animal husbandry. EM technology can be used for waste management also. Seeds is involved in producing and in the distribution of EM solutions, educating the public, the dissemination of information and providing instructions. <laughs> Ganapatrave, Kalamanakanate, EM Dravane, Pavichikaran Pulva. Seed Sartane Magin, Seed Sartane, EM Taxi Naka came against Sidakanu Labane, EM Dravane Nishpadane, Beda Harima Menma, EM Dravane, Hibavite Piribanda, Govin, Sanekut Mahajanta, Denwat Kirimat, Avashavastavala, Upadesa, Taxanka, Denmulaba Dimat, Apartane Magin Sidakarna. There are over 3,300 seed societies spread over 25 districts in Sri Lanka. It encompasses areas from the north to the south, providing strength and encouragement to the people towards economic development. Seeds continuously strengthens its members directly or indirectly. It provides the education and training required for self-employment with little effort. After training, it provides credit assistance to continue the business. It also provides the training required for further advancement. It provides entrepreneurship training for a small business to develop into a micro-business. It continues to stay with the entrepreneur to take the business forward progressively. SEEDS is an independent organization that depends on its own strength for existence. Its objective is to impart its strength for the upliftment of the poor. There is no doubt that SEEDS which advanced from strength to strength over the decades will be the driving force to provide strength to all wherever they are in the country and to nourish both the economy and the spirit and grow further. <laughs> Ahura Paleva Manasa Bahu Begeti Kam Navamati Rajama Ahura Paleva Manasa Sirilak Pudu Dana Sanasa Mage Sampat, Game Sampat, Game Sampat, Rate Sampat, Mage Sampat, 
गमे संपत गमे संपत रटे संपत सदा याद न ले सयोदा सौ उदा बैंकु सदा सदा याद न ले सयोदा सौ उदा बैंकु सदा सौ उदा बैंक 